Hi everyone, Monica here. I just wanted to quickly drop in and answer a question that one of my followers asked me in my last green Q&A session. So the question was very beautiful and pretty loaded that I decided to have a quick chat about it. So she had asked, how can we make transit the transition to cleaner forms of energy fair for everyone? That means from the large corporations down to the smaller marginalized communities. The truth is this transition to cleaner energy is very crucial for the sustainability of our future. Also, it's an effective solution to combating one of the biggest threats in the world right now, climate change. This fair transition will require a multifaceted approach, which includes careful planning, reinforcement of policies, as well as implementations of plans. But the question is why? Why do we need to neglect or let go of fossil fuels and adopt cleaner forms of energy? Why? Fossil fuels are non-renewable energy sources that are formed from the remains of plants and animals that lived millions of years ago. Now, we are all acquainted with the byproducts of fossil fuels, which are our um, petrol as well as diesel in our automobiles. Now, when we drive our car, we burn these fuels and these fuels release copious amounts of carbon dioxide, which is a main greenhouse gas. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, as well as the United Nations, have both released documents and annual reports, all pointing to the fact that burning fossil fuels contribute about 75% of our greenhouse gas emissions, thereby leading to global warming as well as the climate crisis. This is why you suddenly have a lot of countries, the governments, as well as corporations, which are divesting from fossil fuel companies and focusing their research as well as their funds into renewable energy transition technologies that have minimal impact on the environment as compared to these traditional fuels. These cleaner sources are sustainable, renewable, and produce drastically less amount of greenhouse gases as compared to its traditional counterparts. So how can we strategize on a fairer transition for everyone? I have some ideas. In all my years working as a field biologist or climate educator, one thing that I have understood is the importance of public awareness and sensitization. It is so crucial for people to understand why a change needs to occur. Now conservation, or in this case, energy transition is, is going to be ineffective without education. Now this education cannot be limited to just children because yes, they are the leaders of tomorrow, but we require to change right now. So the education or the sensitization campaign about cleaner forms of energy has to go into the large corporations, has to go into the cabinets, into our civil societies and other stakeholders that can create stringent climate actions. Besides public sensitization and creating awareness, there also has to be affordability of these new technologies to enhance transition. Now, the urge to transition to cleaner forms of energy is gaining new popularity with researchers and scientists that are creating different biotechnological solutions. These biotechnological devices come at a cost that probably can be affordable to a small percentage of people, meaning the large corporations or the MNCs. But what happens to the low-income households or the marginalized communities that are gonna be the first hit by the impacts of climate change? This is where the government comes in, offering subsidies, financial supports, or agencies having grants that are given to local localized communities. These government subsidies 
as well as financial support given to the small smaller communities make transition to cleaner forms much fairer for everyone from the large corporations down to the small communities they both will go hand in hand towards the direction of adopting cleaner forms of energy which is the goal another thing to note is that once governments small communities large corporations all begin to adopt clean this this cleaner energy alternative that will automatically mean that there has to be some form of job creation retraining programs as well as upskilling workshops to be done now these retraining programs will help personnel that have worked in the traditional fossil fuel industry to easily transition into the green energy industry so i have mentioned these three in summary i believe we need public sensitization mass education then we also need the government to create subsidies for smaller communities to adopt these biotechnological solutions and three i also need i also believe that we need jobs to be created or some form of employment opportunities for people that want to leave that sector and have a place in the green energy industry so if you have any other any other comments or any other suggestions on what you think would be a good strategy to implement cleaner energy transition you can drop it in the comments below and i'll meet you the next time to discuss three other points bye